Historical figures who practice Stoicism provide us with powerful examples of how to live a contented life through simplicity. Marcus Aurelius, a Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, used his meditations to remind himself of the importance of focusing on what he could control and letting go of everything else. His writings express a deep understanding of Stoic principles and reflect his struggles and strategies for maintaining tranquility amidst the chaos of imperial responsibilities. Seneca, another Stoic philosopher, took a practical approach to Stoic simplicity. In his letters, he advised his contemporaries on how to handle wealth responsibly, how to face adversity with calmness, and how to live a life of virtue. His thoughts on the brevity of life and the importance of focusing on the present moment are particularly relevant today as we grapple with the distractions and pressures of modern living. By studying these Stoic masters, we can glean insights into managing our own lives with grace and composure. Their lives and teachings show us that it is possible to lead a fulfilling and honourable life, regardless of external circumstances, by adhering to the Stoic virtues of wisdom, courage, justice and temperance. Their legacy is not just in their words, but in the timeless example they set on how to live meaningfully. Embracing Stoic simplicity is a personal journey that starts with self-reflection. It requires us to examine our values, our desires, and our daily habits. Are we pursuing things that truly matter to us, or are we caught up in societal expectations? This introspection can lead to profound changes in how we live our lives, prompting us to let go of unnecessary possessions, commitments, and stresses. This process is not about renunciation, but about realignment. It's about identifying what adds true value to our lives and what detracts from it. For many, this can mean a shift towards minimalism in possessions, but more importantly, it involves a minimalism of thought and action. Focusing on fewer but more significant tasks and relationships can lead to greater satisfaction and a more profound sense of peace. The journey to simplicity also involves embracing the concept of enough. Recognizing that we have enough, are enough, and do enough can liberate us from the endless cycle of wanting more. This recognition fosters gratitude and contentment, key elements of the stoic pursuit of happiness. Have you ever caught yourself muttering under your breath, rehearsing a conversation in your head, or mentally replaying an event from earlier in the day? If so, you're not alone. This internal monologue, this silent dialogue we have with ourselves, is known as self-talk, and it's far more common than you might think. In fact, it's something nearly all of us do, often without even realizing it. We use self-talk for a variety of reasons, from problem-solving to emotional regulation, and it plays a significant role in shaping our thoughts, feelings, and behaviors. Self-talk is a form of inner speech, helping our brains process information, regulate emotions, and guide actions. It's a fundamental aspect of human cognition, rooted in our evolutionary history. Our ancestors used self-talk for survival, planning hunts and avoiding danger. Today, the mechanisms of self-talk remain largely the same. Neuroscience reveals a complex interplay between the prefrontal cortex and the limbic system. These regions light up during self-talk, showing the brain's active role. We all have an inner voice, a constant stream of thoughts and commentary running through our minds. This inner dialogue can be supportive, but it can also be incredibly critical and judgmental. Negative self-talk whispers doubts and insecurities impacting our thoughts, feelings and behaviours. It tells us we're not good enough, smart enough or worthy enough. It can be harsh and condemning like a relentless inner critic. Negative self-talk chips away at our self-esteem and fuels anxiety. Negative self-talk doesn't just appear out of thin air. It's often deeply rooted in our past experiences, shaped by early childhood interactions, social conditioning and cultural norms. Understanding the origins of our negative self-talk is essential for dismantling these deeply ingrained beliefs and replacing them with more empowering ones. Early childhood experiences play a significant role in shaping our self-perception. Children are like sponges absorbing messages from their environment, particularly from their primary caregivers. Critical or unsupportive parenting styles can leave lasting imprints 
on a child's developing sense of self-worth. Similarly, traumatic experiences such as bullying, abuse or neglect can have a profound impact on our beliefs about ourselves and the world around us. The science of self-sabotage. How negative self-talk holds us back. Negative self-talk isn't just an annoying habit. It has real and measurable consequences for our mental, emotional and even physical health. Understanding the science behind how negative self-talk sabotages our well-being is crucial for motivating us to break free from its grip. When we engage in negative self-talk, our brains interpret these thoughts as real threats, triggering the release of stress hormones like cortisol. Chronic stress fueled by a constant barrage of negative self-talk can wreak havoc on our bodies, weakening our immune system, increasing our risk of heart disease and even accelerating the aging process. Breaking free from the grip of negative self-talk is not about silencing our inner critic altogether. Our inner voice, even in its critical form, often stems from a desire to protect us and help us avoid pain. The key is to develop a more compassionate and balanced inner dialogue, one that acknowledges our imperfections while encouraging us to grow and learn from our mistakes. The first step in challenging our inner critic is to become aware of its presence. Start paying attention to the thoughts that run through your mind throughout the day. Notice the tone and content of these thoughts. Are they mostly positive and supportive or are they negative and self-critical? The anxiety amplifier, how self-talk fuels worry and fear. Anxiety is a normal human emotion that everyone experiences from time to time. Negative self-talk plays a significant role in intensifying feelings of worry and fear. Imagine your mind as a microphone and your anxiety as a speaker. Negative self-talk acts as the amplifier, making worries seem louder and more threatening. Fullness in solitude allows us to observe our thoughts and emotions without attachment. This practice helps us understand the transient nature of our feelings, including loneliness. By sitting with our loneliness and observing it with compassion, we begin to dissolve the barriers we have built within ourselves and with others. Furthermore, solitude is seen as a profound way to connect with the universal truths of existence. When we are alone, undistracted by the noise of everyday life, we can better hear the whispers of our true selves and the universe. This connection fosters a sense of belonging that transcends physical company and addresses the deeper roots of loneliness. Mindfulness is a cornerstone of Buddhist practice and a powerful tool to combat loneliness. It involves being present in the moment and fully engaging with our experiences without judgment. This practice helps us break the cycle of overthinking and rumination that often accompanies feelings of loneliness. By practicing mindfulness, we learn to appreciate the richness of each moment, whether we are alone or with others. This appreciation brings joy and peace, reducing feelings of isolation. Mindfulness teaches us that every moment is complete and sufficient unto itself, which can transform our experience of being alone from one of lack to one of wholeness. Additionally, mindfulness fosters deeper connections with others. When we are truly present, our interactions become more genuine and empathetic, which strengthens our relationships. This genuine connection is key to alleviating loneliness and building a supportive community around us. With these steps, you have the power to change your...